In this video, we shall learn about the National Guidelines on Management of Leptospirosis. The guidelines have been given by the National Center for Disease Control and these are the latest guidelines had been given in the year 2015. So what is Leptospirosis? Leptospirosis is primarily a disease of animals occasionally infecting humans but has been increasingly seen in children these days. It is caused by Leptospira interrogans carried by rat and non-rodent hosts for example cattle, buffalo, goat, sheep and pigs. Hosts excrete them in urine and infect soil and large and stagnant water bodies. Infection is through contact of abraded skin and or mucous membranes with this, this contaminated soil or water. Clinically, it can have one of the following presentations. It can present as an icteric hepatitis, icteric hepatitis or severe leptospirosis. An icteric hepatitis is basically characterized by fever, myalgia, conjunctival suffusion, headache, cough and chest pain like a common viral illness. Icteric hepatitis has the above features along with jaundice as is the name suggestion, suggested by name and AKI and or hypotension and shock. Severe leptospirosis is characterized by severe hepatic and renal involvement along with the following features pulmonary, hemorrhagic pneumonitis, severe respiratory distress, acute respiratory distress syndrome, shock and death. Cardiovascular system like shock and arrhythmia, CNS, it presents as meningitis, seizures and coma. Encephalitis, focal neurological deficits, peripheral neuropathies, nerve palsies, radiculitis and myelitis, everything has been reported in the literature. In skin, it can have maculopapular skin eruptions on face, trunk and extremities along with petechiae purpurae and there can be hemorrhagic and bleeding tendencies. So just to remember, we may understand or we may remember by this that a uh, and an icteric hepatitis phase is simply characterized by a common viral illness. An icteric hepatitis is uh, features of an icteric hepatitis along with AKI and uh, some jaundice. And severe leptospirosis is basically AKI, jaundice and any other organ systems, a multi-organ dysfunction kind of picture. Some form of renal involvement is almost invariable in leptospirosis of any kind along with obviously hepatic involvement. Anecteric forms are usually asymptomatic with mild proteinuria and few casts of cells in urine. Icteric forms are characterized by acute kidney injury and severe forms are characterized by acute tubular necrosis and interstitial nephritis, hematuria with cola colored urine and RBC casts in urine oligoenuria with encephalopathy and or, and or pulmonary edema. So frank features of fulminant or rapid acute kidney injury. The investigations which have been mentioned by the NCTC in these guidelines are the following. Microscopically you may demonstrate the leptospira by dark field microscopy or by silver impregnation techniques for example fontan staining. Microbiology you can get a culture of the clinical specimens uh, blood, CSF or urine. Immunologically, you can have IgM based immunoassays and slide agglutination test, latex agglutination test and immunochromatographic tests to detect the antigens. Serologically, you have a microscopic agglutination test or MAT and ELISA which may demonstrate fourfold rise in antibody titer or seroconversion. And molecularly, you can make a diagnosis of leptospirosis by doing a polymerase chain reaction test or PCR. Treatment is very simple. Treatment in less than 8 years of age, it is amoxicillin or ampicillin, 30 to 50 mg per kg per day in divided doses. And children more than 8 years of age is doxycycline, 100 mg to alvali for 7 days. Doxycycline is in fact the drug of choice for leptospirosis. But since tetracyclines are contraindicated in children less than 8 years of age because of uh, skeletal and dental problems, we give amoxicillin or ampicillin. In in-hospital patients less than equal to 8 years of age, we give Amoxampi or injection crystalline penicillin 2 to 4 lakh international unit per kg per day for 7 days. And if the patient is penicillin sensitive, you can give either ceftriaxone 50 to 75 mg per kg per day, cefotaxin 50 to 100 mg per kg per day or erythromycin 30 to 50 mg per kg per day 
for a total of 7 days. For children more than 8 years of age, you give Doxy 100 mg BD for 7 days or injection crystalline penicillin 2 to 4 lakh international unit per kg per day or 20 lakhs international unit every 6 hourly for 7 days. If penicillin sensitive, you can give ceftriaxone 1 gram IV every 6 hourly, cefotaxime 1 gram IV every 6 hourly or erythromycin 500 mg IV every 6 hourly for 7 days. Now, how to prevent yourself from leptospirosis? A personal protection in the form of using gloves, rubber shoes, antiseptic medications on abrasions and not going into the pool of dirty water or using dirty water to wash your face or uh, putting your hand or abraded skin in there. Chemo prophylaxis with toxicycline 200 mg per week is mentioned for 6 to 8 weeks and as per the NCDC guidelines for workers who are working in such conditions and people who are predisposed to developing to infecting themselves. Rodent control is very important and a proper drainage system preventing stagnation and stasis of water. So thank you all. Leptospirosis is a newly emerging disease. It is very important for everyone to know because most of the time the treatment is simple and the recognition is difficult because most of the time these patients keep on getting treatment as sepsis and they fail to improve unless and until they are given doxycycline. So Thank you very much.